I promised Mr. Firebird to come over this morning so I could show him my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. on my time portal. Wow! A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. Oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. 
And who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks! Thanks a lot, Ms. B. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Whoa, it's heavy! Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs. Ugh. What we got here is your basic mess. Hello, Whoa. I'm Putt-Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt-Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car. I'm visiting from the future. Whoa! Imagine that! I'm Will. Glad to meet you. Say, Putt, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks? 
then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. It's a pentagon-shaped rock. It's a pentagon-shaped rock. Full speed ahead! Oh. That was fantastic! Stupendous! Putt, you cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks! Uh-oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Don't worry, I'm sure I can find one somewhere. Great! Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic circle. I'll keep an eye out for a round rock, then you can cross your bridge. Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle. Will, guess what? I found a rock, and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? Excellent! Fantastic! Thanks a gazillion putt! Well, I'm homeward bound. Come visit any old time you like. Uh -huh. I can't quite reach. Oh, I... Oh... Look at that enormous Apatosaurus. I wonder what he's doing. Look at that. It's an Apatosaurus. An itchy and a horribly miserable Apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt-Putt. And maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, but but I'm tough. I can take it. Just oh, scratch that spot, please. Go a little bit up. A little higher up. Oh, yes. A little higher up. Oh. Ooh. Go a little to the right. Oh, now go up just a bit. Yes, yes. Ah! A little higher up. Ah, oh. a little higher up. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, now I can relax. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. I don't know what I would have done without your help, Putt-Putt. This is the life. Thanks for scratching my back, Putt. I owe you one. You're welcome.
Oh no. Another hit. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, well, I, I can't quite reach. No, if only I could scratch that itch. Oh, it itches. Go a little bit down. Oh, yes. A little lower still. Oh, go a little to the left. Ah, oh, yes! Oh, that's it. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Thanks! Oh my goodness, it's Pet! She's in a pterodactyl nest! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Pep. I'll rescue you. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> my calculator, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, help! In the vicious strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't! I'm Putt Putt. I never hurt anyone on it. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. So, uh, which one's first? Let's move that one. <laughs> Let's move that one. Have you ever met such a chicken-hearted Tyrannosaurus Rex in your whole life? <laughs> Sometimes I'm even afraid of my own shadow. <laughs> you're the only Tyrannosaurus Rex I've ever met in my whole life, and I think you're nice. You do? Gosh, you can't mean it. <laughs> I sure had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. Hi, Mr. Bird. Wanna play a game? Here you go, see if you can match this one. Now it's your turn. Okay, now you go. Ready, set, all right, now it's your turn to fire up those volcanoes. All right, you get the idea. If you want to leave, now's the time to click on the old flashing arrow. Okay, keep your eyes open. Here's a new level coming at you. All right, go for it. Now see if you can match that. Okay, now you go. The name's Comp, short for Compagnathus. That there is my very hungry buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Putt Putt. You don't know how hard it is to be best friends with a Triceratops. I mean, I'm two feet long on a good day, and he's at least 36 feet long. It's a heck of a thing. Mm -hmm. 
that you didn't know Triceratops means three-horned face. But don't mention it to my buddy. He's very touchy about the subject. Last time I called him that, I got three horns in my face. It wasn't pretty. Medieval times. I don't need another rock. Will's bridge is fixed. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt-Putt. I'm Princess Chassie, and this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting woods with blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the park as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps I'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye! Yes, it is. Only the rains have rusted the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. It's rusted shut. I need to find something to help open it. Another rock. Will's bridge is fixed.
I'd like some chewy, fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. Well, I'll be. Well, howdy, stranger. You're not from around these here parts. No, I'm not. I'm Putt-Putt, and I've traveled here from the future. Sure you have. The name's Lurleen. What can I do for you? I'd like to look around, if you don't mind. Not a bit. Not at all. might come in handy. Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang-a-lang-a-ding-dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. Out, out in the world are many things I am told, like cowboys and cowgirls so true. They roam far and wide, cross the countryside, searching blue waters for gold. Hey, Sonny, you didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Pique your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up while I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. The water tower. Soon as you oil me up, you'll be an official junior conductor. Not to mention a nickel richer. It's an oil can. <laughs> a little on the wheels will do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks! Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. Toby's right. I could never reach it myself. I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. Now I'm a 
officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. You ever take a train ride before, Putt-Putt? No, but I bet it would be a blast. I've chugged all over the West, Putt-Putt, but I like tire flats the best. Me too. I'd like some chewy fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, great, I've got one of those. Here's a nickel for the chewy fruity wagon wheels. Help yourself, it's all yours. You ever take a train ride before, Putt-Putt? No, but I bet it would be a blast. I've chugged all over the West, Putt-Putt, but I like tire flats the best. Me too. Just hop on when you want to take a spin around the tracks, Putt-Putt. Okay, Toby. have trains where you come from, Putt-Putt? We sure do, Toby. Some of them are hundreds of cars long. Holy smokes! <laughs> well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take me? So, Cowpoke? Where are we off to next? Next stop, Gold River. Well, I'll be swigger jiggered. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that say? You want to know if I'm so cold I shiver? Nah, not me. <laughs> I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, looky here. Dang, blam it. It's just a bunch of old rusty keys. <laughs> Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good-for-nothing keys, is all. You never know. They might be good for something. <laughs> ooh, 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 my wheels and whiskers! What a thought. <laughs> Dad Blam, I wonder if... So, have you found any gold in there yet? 
you're asking me if I've found mold on the hair of my pet? <laughs> well, Sonny, I can't say I have. I hope it's not something that's going around. Well, what do we have here? Shucks, no gold. Hot and dry. It's the desert. Woody, look at that! Animal tracks! I wonder where they go! can be gray, golden, or reddish brown. A mountain lion can weigh up to 200 pounds. at the road runner. A road runner's tail is about the same length as its entire body. A road runner spends most of its life on the ground and even though it's a bird it rarely flies. Cap Hill, here we come. It's my calculator. Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine. Uh, 
for the old rock mine. Hang on, we're headed back to Tire Flat Station. Open that rusty gate. Bard Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! Woodward sure delivered a huge pile of firewood. Oh, that Woodward. Such a helpful little fellow. Still work to be done. What's that your 
making? It's a shield for King Chariot. It's beautiful. Thank you. Coming along nicely. Hello, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. Like to see me turn rock into cold? Boy, would I ever! <laughs> wow! That was amazing! What be your name? My name's Putt-Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived in time to hear a fantastic story. Excuse me, King Chariot, but I think that fantastic story happens to be my history report. I need to take it home with me. But then whatever would I leave to the children of the kingdom? They would be so very disappointed to miss story time. You could read it to them and then give it back to me. Ah, uh, but it is so interesting, I want to read it every day. Maybe I could find another story for you, and you could read that one to them instead. That is a splendid idea. Perhaps you can find me a story about... Hmm, let me see. A story about an elephant. I like stories of far-off places, of unicorns and dragon chases. I like things that make me smile and laugh, like a school of fish riding a river raft. I love stories of mermaids so free, who find lost treasure in the open sea.
be the future. I wonder what year it is. Whoop! I can't get on the automover when it's moving the wrong way. Pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Print a picture! Your customized pet food is nearly ready.
setting. Great! Thanks! Would you look at that? For golly sakes! Now aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was just looking at your neat panorama machine. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, that machine is the best. It paints things so many different colors. So step up if you like and take it on a test drive. Wow, that sounds like fun. Oh. Welcome to the Paint Orama 3000, the automated painterizer. Please select your new paint color, now. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. We hope that your paint overall experience has been a pleasant one. I look good! Thank you. And enjoy your new color. Well, would you look at that? Excuse me, Miss Electra. What kind of machine is that? Why, it's a battery-making machine. You can help me make some if you like. Wow, that sounds like fun. Oh! Okay, Pot Pot. You can make me a battery with eight volts. Just punch in the number of volts you want, and the machine, bless its heart, will do the rest. Okay, I can do that. I'll start with six volts. I still need more volts of power so I can have a total of eight. I'm all done, Miss Electra. Perfect. Just perfect. Oh. Wow! This fun zone looks 
My, my, you are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. When you find what you're looking for, I'll make a copy for you. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian the Librarian. Thanks, Darian. You're welcome, I'm sure.
Excuse me, Darian. Could you please make a book for me? Certainly, Putt-Putt. Which one do you want? The story about an elephant. <gasps> Coming right up. Here you go, sir. Now I have a book to give to King Chariot. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R.T. Fact. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was hoping I could look around. That is acceptable. Please stay as long as your schedule permits. If you have any questions, I will answer them for you. Thanks! Hey, it's my lunchbox! Excuse me, R.T. Fact, I think that lunchbox you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular lunchbox belongs to you. There were 4,362,000 of them manufactured in your time. But I'm sure that one's mine. It's got a picture of Smokey the Fire Engine on it. I cannot give it to you. Otherwise, I will not have an ancient food container on display. What if I gave you another ancient food container? Then could I trade it for my lunchbox? Yes, you could. Great! I think I have something you're really going to like in my glove box. That's an oil can. Here's an ancient food container for you, Artifact. It's a really old stone bowl. I got it from a wheel way back in the dinosaur ages. The dinosaur ages, you say? How amazing! This will now be the oldest item we have in our museum. Here. Take the lunchbox. Thanks! Great! I got my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox back! Now all I have to do is get my history report so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Two crates of plastic children's toys from the late 20th century. One primitive crank telephone from 1882. Judging by my list, we now have over 100,000 items in our museum. King Chirrut, here's your storybook. And here, Putt-Putt, is your history report. Thank you very much, King Chariot. Hot diggity, this is great! It looks like I got everything I needed to get. Come on, Pep, let's travel back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird. Putt-Putt, I knew you would. Now I can finally show you my new school supplies. Excellent, Putt-Putt. 
But first, I must close the time portal for good. We don't need any more disasters. Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yipes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. <laughs> Now let me tell you what I learned. my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow! A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. <laughs> I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, 
Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The watch machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. Putt-Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality. These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. in the shape of a circle. Whoa, it's a big one. Wowie zowie. It's a real live Brachiosaurus. Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future, Miss Brachiosaurus. Sure you have, honey. Have a nice time while you're here in the past. I never realized dinosaurs could be so big. I'll bet you eat a lot. A lot isn't the word for it. Tons, tons and tons of leafy green plants. A big girl like me could never eat too many greens. <laughs> I can't go. There's something gigantic blocking the road. Hi, Miss Brachiosaurus. Hello, Putt-Putt. What can I do for you? I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks! Thanks a lot, Ms. B. Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs. Whoa! 
Ugh. Hello, Whoa. I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa! Imagine that! I'm Will. Glad to meet you. Say, Putt, how would you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. Full speed ahead! <laughs> that was fantastic! Stupendous! Putt, you cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks! Uh-oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic circle. Will, guess what? I found a rock and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? Excellent! Fantastic! Thanks a gazillion putt! Well, I'm homeward bound! any old time you like. Oh. Uh, I can't quite reach. Look at that! It's an apatosaurus! An itchy and a horribly miserable apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt-Putt. And maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, but but I'm tough. I can take it. Just oh, scratch that spot, please. Now go down, just a bit. Oh, yes. Just a little lower. Oh. Ooh. Go a little to the right. Yes. Yes. You got it. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Oh, help! It's 
a vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. I'm Putt Putt. I never hurt anyone on it. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. So, uh, which one's first? Let's move that one. <laughs> Play follow the volcano? Keep your eye on these erupting volcanoes. Okay, now you go. Ready? Set? Alright, now it's your turn to fire up those volcanoes. for it. Good going, you get the picture. Short for Compagnasus. That there is my very hungry buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Putt Putt. Hello, Mr. Triceratops? I don't think that Triceratops notices me at all. He's much too busy eating. That guy, my friend, is always busy eating. On a good day, he could go through a couple of bushes and nothing flat. Get it while it's hot. have some basic appetite. Mm -hmm. So, Putt, what's a car from the future like you doing in a past like this? I'm looking for some things I lost. My history report, my lunchbox, my calculator, and my dog pet. You've lost me too, Putt. I haven't the faintest idea what those things are. Get it while it's hot. Huh? 
I'm getting full. Thanks for scratching my back, Putt. I owe you one. You're welcome. Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang a lang a ding dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. A rope. This might come in handy. Look at that huge pile of hay. Hay is usually for horses, but if it pleases you, help yourself. Thanks. It might come in handy. You never know. Well, howdy, stranger. You're not from around these here parts. No, I'm not. I'm Putt-Putt, and I've traveled here from the future. Sure you have. The name's Lurleen. What can I do for you? I'd like to look around, if you don't mind. Not a bit. Not at all. Well, shoot them up. I'd like some chewy, fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. Hey, Sonny. You didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Peak your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up. Why, I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. It's an oil can. <laughs> a little on the wheels will be nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that noggin to work 
and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up. I'll bet I can do that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to Gold River? Here we come. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that you say? Have I sold much silver? I'm looking for gold, boy. Gold! I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, looky here. Dang blam it! It's just a bunch of old rusty keys. Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good-for-nothing keys, is all. You never know. They might be good for something. <laughs> Hot and dry. It's the desert. Woody, look at that! Animal tracks! I wonder where they go! Dog. Prairie dogs live underground in tunnels that they dig.
It's an armadillo! You're kind of cute for such a funny looking guy, aren't you, boy? All aboard for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flat's very own ghost town. It's my calculator! Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine! should I use? Hmm. It worked! Excellent! I've got my calculator back! Now all I have to do is get Pep, my lunchbox, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. We're off and chugging to the old rock mine. And here he is, the most weight champion in the world, the Desert Kid! And it's Tire Flat Station, gateway to the Old West. Here's a nickel for the chewy fruity wagon wheels. Help yourself, it's all yours. times. Woodward, you're heavy. Excuse me, do you need some help? Ma, you are certainly the fancy carriage. I'm not a carriage exactly. 
I'm a car from the future. My name's Putt-Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt-Putt. I'm Princess Chassie, and this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye! It is! Only the rains have rusted the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. I think I have something that will work. This should help open that rusted gate. Yes, you must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right.
happy bard, Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt-Putt. You're in for a regular treat. Because your pound a lot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world. And that's the truth. Still work to be done. It's my lunchbox! Sir Blaze, that is extremely impolite. Give the little fellow his lunchbox, please. Wow. I am terribly sorry about my dragon. He's a bit out of sorts today. He hasn't had a morsel of dragon food to eat all day. Do you think if I found him some dragon food, he'd trade it for my lunchbox? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you should interpret that as a yes. Coming along nicely. May I help you? My name's <laughs> And I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! Woodward sure delivered a huge pile of firewood. Oh, that Woodward. Such a helpful little fellow. Hmm. pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Customized pet food is nearly ready. Great! Dragon food! I think I know someone who will appreciate this! The Make It Yourself Pet Food Smorgasbord.
Still work to be done. Here, dragon, 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 look what I have! Oh my goodness, he was hungry! Now all I have to do is get Pep and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Welcome ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the Royal Joke Book. Oh, that sounds like fun! Hmm, now which one shall I read first? Putt Putt, I'm so happy you joined us for story time. Me too, thanks. Tell me a joke about the cat you ate darn. When her babies were born, they had sweaters on. I like stories of far-off places, of unicorns and dragon chases. I love stories of queens and kings, of magic flutes that learn to sing. We shall begin as soon as I find an appropriate passage. Now, aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was hoping I could have a look around. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, you go ahead and make yourself comfy and stay just as long as you ever love and please. Thanks, Miss Electra. I will. Oh! One ancient toasting device, circa 1989. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R.T. Fact. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. 
I was hoping I could look around. That is acceptable. Please stay as long as your schedule permits. If you have any questions, I will answer them for you. Hey! One ancient toasting device, circa 1989, Two crates of plastic children's toys from the late 20th century. One primitive crank telephone from 1882. Judging by my list, we now have over 100,000 items in our museum. It's a stone bull, an ancient food container. It's a newspaper, an ancient writing. It's an abacus, an ancient mathematics artifact. Welcome to the library. Excuse me, I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from the past. I thought this was a library. Where's all your books? My, my, you are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. Usually, when you find what you're looking for, I can make a copy for you. But unfortunately, at the moment, we're out of paper. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian the Librarian. Glad to meet you, Darian. <laughs> How you doing there, purple buddy? Oh, you smell good.
Your sweet little hubcaps, he likes it. I'm mm. telling you, the guy's a total herbivore. Mm. I need mm. to feed that triceratops some more hay so he'll get off mm. my history report. Mm. Mm. Here you go, boy. Mm. Top some more hay so he'll get off my history report. Time to car town and tell Mr. Firebird. More disasters. Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yipes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. <laughs> Now let me tell you what I learned.
Pep, Pep. I promised Mr. Firebird to come over this morning so I could show him my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. Come on, Pep. Let's go see Mr. Firebird. <laughs> Here we are, Pep. It's Mr. Firebird's workshop. Let's go find our friend, Mr. Firebird. Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Pet Pet. I was just putting the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow! A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. <laughs> Holy gas jam! This shouldn't be happening! Putt-putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. What things have always been One, two, three, four Doors that lead through and to places in time for you That's where you'll find Pep And my homework We feel it sad that your homework is gone And everything's wrong, but it won't be for long But when, when you, you look, look up, up, you'll see the time for the stop Because it goes on forever Goes on forever? Goes on forever You see the whole west and the king Dinosaurs. And really neat future things. When you return, you'll know what you'll learn. Pay close attention. Stay on. 
on your mission to see new dimensions. And, and when you look up, up you'll know that time doesn't stop because, because it goes on forever with, with you. you. Must be the age of the dinosaurs. Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle. Whoa, it's a big one. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. Me. Wowie zowie! It's a real live Brachiosaurus! Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks! Thanks a lot, Ms. V. Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs. How in the... Hello, Whoa. I'm Putt-Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first, you gotta tell me, what in the heck is a Putt-Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa, imagine that. I'm Will. Glad to meet you. Say, Putt, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. Full speed ahead! <laughs> that was fantastic! Stupendous! But you cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks! Uh-oh! Big time problem alert! Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic circle. Will, guess what? I found a rock, and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? Gazillion putt! Well, I'm homeward bound! Come visit any old time you like! Oh, well, I, I can't quite reach! Oh! Too, Will. So, Putt, what's a car from the future like you doing in a past like this? I'm looking for some things I lost. My history report, my lunchbox, my calculator, and my dog, Pep. You've lost me too, Putt. I haven't the faintest idea what those things are. Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious, primordial soup? Made it myself. Sure, that would be great. Compliments of the house. Mmm, primordial soup tastes terrific. Thanks, Will. Ah, oh, don't mention it.
This might come in handy. Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang like a ding dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. Hey, Sonny. You didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Peak your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up while I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. It's an oil can. A little on the wheels would be nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far, you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that oil can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. <laughs> Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take you? Gold River, here we come. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that say? Have I sold much silver? I'm looking for gold, boy. Gold! I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, I'll be swigger jiggered. Now it's not gold. So, have you found any gold in there yet? How round can an old man get? Shoot, boy, I'm not putting on weight, am I? Oh, nope. Not what I thought. Well, what do we have here? Shucks, no gold. Dad Blam, I wonder if... All aboard for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flat's very own ghost town.
we're off and chugging to the old rock mine. Whoa. And here he is, the most weight champion in the world, the Desert Kid. Hang on, we're headed back to Tire Flat Station. to meet you, Putt-Putt. I'm Princess Chassie, and this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps I'll see you later, Putt-Putt. Bye! something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. I think I have something that will work. This should help open that rusty gate. Be late for story time. Hello, I'm. Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes, you must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. 
I sure am. Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt Putt. You're in for a regular treat because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Coming along nicely. Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! What's that you're making? It's armor. Strong, durable, and guaranteed to protect you from the scrapes and scratches of battle. It only costs a nickel. I have a nickel. Still work to be done. Here, let's see if it fits. I'd say it couldn't be more perfect. The armor is yours, Pot Pot. Thank you very much. I've never had my own armor before. Welcome, ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived in time to hear a fantastic story. Excuse me, King Chariot, but I think that fantastic story happens to be my history report. I need to take it home with me. But then whatever would I read to the children of the kingdom? They would be so very disappointed to miss story time. You can read it to them and then give it back to me. Ah, uh, but it is so interesting, I want to read it every day. Maybe I could find another story for you, and you could read that one to them instead. That is a splendid idea. Perhaps you can find me a story about... Hmm, let me see. A story about a playground. You are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. When you find what you're looking for, I'll make a copy for you. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian the Librarian. Thanks, Darian. You're welcome, I'm sure. Excuse me, Darian. Could you please make a book for me? Certainly, Putt Putt. Which one do you want? The story about a playground. <gasps> Coming right up. Here you go, sir. Thanks! 
Now I have a book to give to King Chariot. Go, King Sherrod. Here's your storybook. And here, Putt Putt, is your history report. Thank you very much, King Chariot. Now all I have to do is get Pep, my lunchbox, and my calculator, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. trick and protect me from those stickers. Ready, Lunchbox? It's Sir Pipe Pipe to the rescue. <laughs> now all I have to do is get Pep and my calculator so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. A vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. I'm Putt Putt, 
I never hurt anyone on it. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel much better. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. So, uh, which one's first? Let's move that one. All right, we made the picture. I sure had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. Look at that! It's an Apatosaurus! An itchy and a horribly miserable Apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt Putt, and maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea! You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head! Not a problem, Putt Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just, oh, scratch that spot, please! Now go up just a bit. Oh, yes. A little bit higher. Yes. Yes. A little bit higher. Oh. Ooh. Now go a bit to the right. Ah. Oh. You got it. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Conductor needed. Five cents. Hot and dry. It's the desert. Woody, look at that! Animal tracks! I'll bet Pep is here somewhere.
ever glad to see you. Now come on, boy. Hop in. Now all I have to do is get my calculator so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. It's an armadillo! You're kind of cute for such a funny looking guy, aren't you, boy? Armadillos live underground during the day and come out at night. Mountain lions can be gray, golden, or reddish brown. Mountain lions don't roar like real lions. They meow and purr like house cats. Baby mountain lions are born with spots, but when they get older, the spots disappear. and its tire flat station, gateway to the Old West. Welcome to the Petorama, the make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed 
and then pressing the food button. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Your food will be ready momentarily. Wow! Look at that! One ancient toasting device. Hey, it's my calculator. Yes, it is a calculator. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R. T. Fact. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I think that calculator you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular calculator belongs to you. There were 10,533,000 of them manufactured in your time. But I'm sure that one's mine. I cannot give it to you. Otherwise, I will not have an ancient mathematics artifact on display. What if I found you another ancient mathematics artifact? Then could I trade it for my calculator? Yes, you could. Great! Then that's just what I'll do. It's my suit of armor. It's my suit of armor. One ancient toasting device. I need to get my calculator back. I better start looking for another ancient mathematics artifact soon. Well, I'll be swaggered. device that helps me to count. I've never seen anything like it. I wish I had one. You may have that one after I receive the new one I've ordered. It's being shipped Unicorn Express and I am expecting it at any time. Oh, thank you. That's an abacus. Merlin said I can have it after the new one arrives.
Wow! This looks like some sort of game! Let's play with these balloons! Maybe we could shoo those crows away with them. Just show me where to let go of each balloon. If you want to quit the game, just click on the arrow. That's an abacus. Merlin said I can have it after the new one arrives. It says, for Merlin. I'll bet this is the abacus he was expecting. Maybe I'll just deliver it to him myself. Package, Merlin. You are a fine fellow, Putt Putt. <laughs> this is the new abacus I have been expecting. Here, take my old one as a token of the past. Gee, thanks, Merlin. Mathematics artifact for you, Artifact. It's an abacus. Merlin the Magician gave it to me back in medieval times. Merlin, you say? How remarkable. This is a valuable addition to our museum. Here is the calculator. Thanks! Great! I got my calculator back. This is great! It looks like I got everything I needed to get! Come on, Pep! Let's travel back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird! Two crates of plastic children's... 
More disasters. Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yipes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. <laughs> Now let me tell you what I learned. 